Um, our next match I'm really excited for because uh, it is a Zelda player in Becca up against Electro Man. And I don't know if you're watching the live stream right now, but uh, there's some movement happening here, which is pretty cool. Um, and we're in a realm. Story. Well, we're in a realm. There are yeah. Pichus on stream. There are Zeldas on stream multiple times, right? Dreffen is on stream. That alone is a realm. There's Bobby Big Balls throwing himself off. This, this is very bizarre. A very eventful block, Jack. I'm Spirit very away, pleased that it's us doing this. Yeah, we're we 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 ate from some table. We're we're the two parents that got turned into pigs. Uh, <laughs> this is this is this is just weird melee. Weird melee. So, uh, with a with a Zelda on the screen, my my story of the day for Zelda is I actually casted a Zelda set uh, within the last month, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, and I find it very funny because I find it kind uh, of shout outs to Radar. Um, he and I were doing a commentary block online for oh gosh, what event was it? Uh, yeah. It was the one recently where Plup was really drunk. Yes, the Uvalde uh, fundraiser. And Radar and I are on comms been... waiting to start. And, oh, my camera's doing the thing. We just have to press yeah. the button. Dude, you're, you're in the spirit realm for sure, for sure. But Radar and I are really excited to uh, to cast this. Uh -huh. And he goes, I, you know, I've never casted a Mango set. I'm really excited. And who does Mango pick, Jack, on the character select screen? The, there's, there's, the, he the, he picks Zelda. Not... He picks Zelda. A he picks Zelda, Zelda, and he plays. He plays against Drunk Plup Samus, and Radar, mm. being you know, the chipper young lad that he is, is of just course, really chipper. upset about this because he he's wanted upset. to cast Mango's Falco. But he's going to be the only one that's ever casted Mango casted Zelda. Casted Mango Zelda. Yeah, you are correct. Yeah, okay, I, I, we got to give him a but there, he, He's 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 getting he's getting into the wrong idea of melee. He got given a gift and he thought it was a punishment. There and is there is like yeah a a one in a one of a kind set that we have gotten to cast there yeah. in the Mango oh, Zelda. Becca. Is this okay? Is is Becca from Chicago? Uh, Canada, actually. Oh, okay, okay, okay. As it were. I once almost lost to a Zelda in Chicago, and I assumed that there was one Zelda. Uh, but that's that's probably not true. Uh, so Becca, doing great in that first stock. I think, I mean, Zelda does have some shit. Zelda, I think, is actually pretty good. And in the context of, again, that Mango Plup set, it wasn't yeah. all that bad against a character like Samus, because when you can get, like, traded air to airs, Ooh. Zelda kind of wins out in a lot of them. It's hard against a fox who can, like, kind of just run you down constantly. But the down smash is a good way of, like, getting the fox off of you pretty quickly. Yeah. You've got... It's a little bit like... I don't know. It's like every low tier, right? You've got, at most, two or three tools that are good to great. And then your job is to just narrow the gameplay loops into those right. several spots. Yes. So for Zelda, it's kick, baby. It's, uh, it's Becca kicking... Forward and back air are both really nice sweet spots. They're like, you know, little falcon knees. Zap. Uh, and yeah, and there, there are cool I've... layers that you can incorporate into this, right? And I feel like Ganon is another character in particular where you see, like, you know, they rely really heavily on strong landing options with aerials, but then you mix in empty hops and kind of wave lands and fun platform movement like that. And then yeah. it becomes kind of tricky to figure out what their uh, attack pattern is going to be. She's, dare I say it, she's moving. Uh, around, around the platforms, like, yeah, it, it comes down to using using the, the things that are universal to all characters, right? Which is, how do right. I want to wave land on the platforms? How do I want to interact with the stage itself? And this grab, by the way, is, is horrible. It's the worst grab in the game, and it's not close. It is, yeah, uh, it is. Every time Zelda gets a grab, you should you should donate money to chillin', dude, people in chat. Uh, because it is it is an amazing event that is worthy of recognition and your money. Again, yeah, I mean the theme the theme right now of what we've talked about is choosing to lose, right, Jack? Right. So if you get grabbed by Zelda, you are kind of implicit in choosing to lose there. That's right. That's right. Okay. This so Becca, by the way, is is probably one of the fastest Zelda movers I have ever seen. Like the way that she navigates platforms and like has this tricky ledge movement, like can go into uh, like really low landing fares into immediate forward smash. It looks super cool. <laughs> was that just the upbeat just to swag, or is that actually faster than Zelda's run? Oh, 
This is just a fair. This is a bad like shield attack into fair from from win. Yeah. Oh, and we have kind of factors. <gasps> oh wow! Oh my god! I thought that if there was a di in there, it's over, right? You have to di away everything now, or it's gonna be like uh, aerial into into up smash. And and now we know Becca is a di outer. Yeah, I mean you have yeah you have to yeah. <laughs> Sad, yeah. <laughs> okay, jump out saves her for now. Oh, are we gonna get a kick? That's all you have. Oh, oh that explosion? aerial is so bad. That aerial is so bad. God. Zelda competing with like Samus up smash for moves that make Grab your like oh, up throw fair is a thing. It doesn't kill yet. I'm actually so shocked that didn't kill. Oh, but we get it. We get Back there. Up. Let's go. Taking game one there. That was a close one. But I mean, again, finding the grab off of the uh, the tech roll. And then you just get to convert up throw into... I, I feel like, and I don't want to say guaranteed, but it is really close because hard DI in either direction can just result in forward air or back air, which kind of produce the same result, right? I love that you're telling me this because when I lose to Zelda, I feel very foolish and like there must have been something I could do. And you're telling me occasionally... No, there is nothing you can do is the thing. Occasionally there's some... There's not. Occasionally I did just lose earlier and then I'm being punished and they, they got me, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm not losing twice, if that makes sense. Like what I do against Luigi. Okay. All right, remove top platform. I like it. Good counter pick here as well. Yeah, it's it's drill time. Drill, baby, drill. Uh, listen, it, it's the same thing we were talking about in the Fox versus Pichu set. Like, you need to figure out what is oppressive in the matchup as soon as possible, and right. uh, and spam it a little. You know, uh, back in the early 2000s, spamming was banned in a lot of tournaments. Uh, spamming is not it was banned. it was punishable. It was a yeah, punishable it crime. It was punishable like, by death. Uh, yeah. But here, spamming is not punishable. Uh, you can throw out as much nares and drills as you'd like. I'm really glad you made the comparison to Ganon because it, it does awaken an emotional truth in me, which is that is what it feels like. I just feel stupid getting hit by Ganon, and he hits me so hard, and then I'm dead. Uh, yeah, and, and I, I feel like when you talk about like the layers of adaptation in Melee, right, it's kind of like the same with Zelda and Ganon. You're like, okay, I'm getting hit by like just falling aerials, right? So what do I do? I block, and then you'll start to see them like incorporate all this other stuff that we talked about, like empty lands or double jump aerials or just kind of like mixing up timings and stuff. And Becca being as fast as she is on these side platforms makes it really hard to predict when those forward air back airs are going to come in. Yeah, I do think Fox has big enough hitboxes that you could just try to, like, read... I'll just outpace it, yeah. Like, Becca's gonna be in this area, kind of like Yoshi, when Yoshi's looping around platforms, and it's like, yeah, back air covers all of that. Like, it is... You can still turn it into a, a mix-up. You can still lose for it, but, like, you have big enough stuff to cover the whole scope of that movement. You just have to be in the right place when, when she's starting it up. Oh, Ooh, try to yeah. You just... You, I, I think you just got to grab. I think attacking this shield when you're at high percent is 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 choosing to lose a little bit. I, I agree, yeah, because we saw this in game one also of Electro Man looking for just up smash because he's at the percent where it will kill. But the answer is always uh, just hold shield, be patient, and then you get a free forward or back air out of it for yeah, yeah. 20 damage or something like that. Oh, no. All right. Uh, ha exclamation point. Go fund me. A Zelda grab hits. Yeah, can we get a uh, can we get some type of like ticker on stream for how many Zelda grabs we get? Yeah. Oh, I love that. One day, that that was that's a really great change from the up smash on shield. Maybe it was just a condition, yeah. or we're learning. But yeah, shine grab, uh, uh, aerial on shield, run the hell away is is even better. Uh, yeah, this is this is all right. Most of the time, Fox's answer to low tiers is just, just grab them. They, they aren't they aren't very good at not getting grabbed, and and that's, that's good for you. All right, Electro Man with the advantage right now just needs to find the big hitbox. Yeah, to spot dodge oh. on that grab. Yeah, huge roll energy from Becca right now. Uh, I'm waiting for Electro Man to call one of them out. Uh, Mostly yeah, because those the are the times where you kind of can go for those uh, wild and crazy up smashes, right? When you catch them in the middle of the roll, as opposed to, like, if they're just holding raw shield. Yeah. <laughs> it's always so funny. Oh! Oh, Becca knew! That's actually so... 
so much game awareness. That that looks like a dead box, unless you're playing widescreen, and then you know that he's just fucked for life. Oh? Is there Ooh, big opportunity! And Becca has not gimped, really. Like, it's been, like, clean racking percent and then getting a big hit. It's like, you know, it, it, it's nothing cheesy or, uh, or silly. It's just winning neutral a lot. Okay, Electroman going towards the gun now a little bit. Yeah, yeah. we hit Nair yeah. on left platform. You're just kind of dead. That's Fox, man. Yeah, when the when the Fox goes for the gun on the last stock and it's like they're hitting, getting right up to that perfect percent, there's a little feeling in the air of like, I I'm just going to win now. Uh, I really don't want to lose to, to Zelda. We talked about this earlier. It's the curse of fighting the low tier, right? Is uh, yeah, you can't when you really win, you win either way. Um, but winning is still preferable to losing. I will say that. Yeah. In some worlds, yeah. Yeah, so, Ganon analogy continuing. Our exploration of, is Zelda secretly Ganon? Uh, lore update. Uh, uh, Zelda did what? Yoshi's story. <laughs> Point the arrow. Oh. oh, the SDI. I assume, because I can't tell if it's SDI or if the fox just missed. It, act it looks like a cool counter also, where it seems like Becca can find... Uh, a forward air off of uh, SDI or missed second hit up air from the fox because they can just drift into the fox and hit them in time. Oh my gosh, how is she finding all of these? Yeah. That platform is okay. nice. I love having that back. Nice to see you again. Oh, no punish on the up smash out of shield. Wow, maybe I was like way over critical of Electro Man. If, 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 I guess it depends on what way the, the Sheik is facing. Um, and maybe there's some spacings of the up smash where you don't get hit by forward air, but. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay, finds the pickup there, but I mean, again, it, we're, we're seeing similar patterns where Electro Man kind of opts for getting hit with uh, the toes. <laughs> yeah, and it's an interesting thing to opt into, for sure. Yeah. There are other options. Ooh out there so this is this is what we were saying from game two right jack where it seems like uh the answer is just grab in some of these positions it feels like electro man values like finding first hit a lot more than just getting grab and seeing what the follow -up might be or like forcing the zelda yeah. to land you know i mean raw grab is scary you do have to put a little bit of the fear god in zelda because if you just start running up and raw grabbing without any kind of conditioning or setup, like mm -hmm. that's how Becca gets the reads on forward air, like that uh, descending forward air that can just kind of end, end you. But when you're at low percent, I, I don't really know what, why the risk reward would be all that bad to just go for the grab. Oh Ooh. no. Edge guard was, wow. that was perfect. That was like yeah. every perfect option that Zelda could have in that position. Uh, and she executed it. That was really good. That kind of that kind of thing is what low like separates like a low tier god from just a low tier player who has a fun secondary is knowing this only works when I do this just so, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a beautiful thing. Expertise. I, I'm sensing a grab coming from 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 Zelda. I'm sensing another one. Are you having this premonition too? Oh, oh yeah, the grab was oh, yeah, the, the frame data just so bad. Oh my Two god. Two grabs. Okay. I, Every other character that hits. I'm which getting is the messages sad part. from the other realms, and they're they're not good news for for Becca here, because this the, is the now six percent realm. This is like this is two back airs up smash. Maybe even one backer up there up there on your, for Yoshi's. So Becca's really Wait. gotta close it. Oh no, sweet spot. Nice. The grab. Dodge, but couldn't follow up from the air dodge. Too scared of uh, of the frames coming down and getting eaten some kicks. Okay, yeah, jump out. I I wonder if that's just not true or if uh, Becca can always <gasps> jump out. Oh, oh my yeah, God! The smash bait. shield. What are you doing? Wow. No, no, no. That was a bait. That was the biggest bait I've ever seen. It that was. was it was. But he fell Holy for it. Moly! He took the bait. Wow. You know it. You know in chat you fall for that too. You. I fell I for it. I absolutely fell for I that. I fell for it. Oh my god. Wow. You're that was yeah, that was really good setup because you talk about like game patterns over time and like Becca's finding herself getting grabbed. Like you get caught in shield, electroman grabs, ele caught in shield, electroman grabs, and then you put up shield at a point where you're kind of expecting landing aerial or something like that, and Electroman just goes for it all and just loses for it. 
Box players love going all in when they have a huge stack. Oh no, this is a this is free for a while, yeah. I think you can jump out, but that was three grabs. That's three donations, right? Yep. Uh, do, do we count them on FT? Yeah. Oh, from the ledge. That's so. Uh, Beck has not done that two or three times. I think up B, even with the landing lag, is faster than Zelda hustling across the stage real slow. Sure. This is the classic foxes just going back and forth, and a lot of people will call that out with a forward smash, and that's exactly what we see. The grab the 11 frame grab. <laughs> just yeah, it's a jab. jab. Like, oh, I see you grabbing. I'm gonna jab. <laughs> oh, good call. The secret of why the up smash baits keep happening is that sometimes Becca doesn't punch, right? Yeah. Uh, it's 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 crazy. Okay, full uh, even Stevens, as it were. Foundational Disney Channel sitcom for those of us unawares. Uh, elder Zoomers, Young Millennials. Oh, is this true? We should see Jump Out. Yeah, so that's why she goes for uh, Dare. Oh, no! my God! The alley-oop! The oh sickest Zelda. That was oh Triforce of Wisdom. Shouts to Project M. Oh, my God. I didn't know you could... I didn't know you could do that in this game. I thought they added that to Project M. Um... I am just grossed out by how I've sick that was. Never, maybe that's. A I've, thing yeah, I've I never seen that. Some Zelda mains, but I've never seen anybody land that. And I've seen some Zeldas. Whoa. And of course, it's still an even game. It is, yeah. I mean, you can see how much respect <laughs> Electro Man's giving now, too. Oh no! The, oh, Nair Train. Yep, yep, yep. No, sir. Character development, please. Oh, the the Amsa, but also screws it up like sometimes Amsa. Okay. The, okay. The landing lag is not what I thought it was. I thought it was way longer, and you wouldn't be able to action shield. Oh, a grab attempt at 94. I guess because if you get it, you get your instant extra credit from the shield grab. Is it happening now? It's still precarious, but this is two nice moves landed. This means that Becca would only have to win, like, neutral maybe three times on last stock, if, if, depending on how much percent the chain grab is. Just from this alone. Okay, still recovering. Has to go on stage here. Yeah, Electro Man not quite there on the up smash pickup. Oh. Electro Man, it feels the faith is shook. Uh... Yeah, there is a mental aspect of this. Oh, dash attack into grab is free. Has to end it, yeah, right at that. So I, yeah, I want to say it's around like 50 to 60 where you have to let it go because it's probably uh, Fox able to jump out or shine. Tournament stock, tournament fair. Still like Elect Electro Man is one little boot away from being Dunzo. That's way too high. I think, do you go for down smash there? No, it's still fine. Okay, okay, okay. Or down, down throw. It's so hard because you need to get in to get your grabs. Okay. Oh, it's it's oh, it's so hard. Up throw, yep. Yeah. That's the Becca. counter pick. Three. Becca's up two one. Is that no? I think that was three, right? Oh, was that the set? Oh one. no, it was three one. Yeah, yeah Becca one. won. That's what... Damn. Becca wins. What a dub. Actually, the stick is still. I, I'm watching that clip. I think someone put it in chat. Clip it and ship it. That was out of control, dude. All right. So that's uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee for the Nintendo GameCube. These are all... Uh, everything you've seen here are things that can happen in this game. And that's that's really what I want you to know, uh, uh, Walt mm -hmm. and the audience. I want you to know that all these things are possible and more. Uh, I want to... Okay, so here's, here's what I have for you, G Jack is yeah. that you went into this stream wanting to exercise my Mario and we got a Pichu and we got <laughs> no. a Zelda. So like, where are you? Where's your headspace? Like, where are you at right now? Man, are like, you, are you feeling like confident? Do you, do you, are you, are you as good as, are you Becca level of, of uh, dedication and mastery of your Mario? I, I think I post some pretty 
formidable clips out okay. there. You're master but I'm a, I'm a clip guy through and through. I'm not like Becca's out here to King win tournaments. Castle? I'm not out here to win tournaments. All right. Well, you know, maybe get out here winning tournaments. If Becca right, can no. do it. Why not you? Maybe I've been the one that's been exorcismed of my distaste of uh, <laughs> of low and mid tiers as primary characters. Maybe I'm the one who's wrong. Maybe this is a learning moment for me. Turn down for Walt. I mean, we all we're all here to learn is the thing, Jack. So I'm glad that we can Not learn. From I'm here each to win. Other. I'm here to dominate. I'm here to be a crazy, crazy two two player. Yeah, well I get I go fifty percent okay. in every bracket guaranteed. That it's a good season. <laughs> all right. We are reaching the end of our time, Walt. Thanks, thanks for for, for uh, uh, humoring me. This was a very, this is some funny, this is some weird melee, uh, yeah. and I hope that y'all watching really enjoyed it. Uh, the players are putting on a show for you so that you help out, uh, uh, chilling dude, and that mm -hmm. comes with exclamation point GoFundMe in the chat. Uh, uh, please, please give give what you can. Uh, you know, can measure it to, to, to what you're what you're feeling. This is a time when we're we're doing a good job of coming together and uh just over and over the melee scene's been been stepping up. We're like turning Absolutely. into a charity machine. It's great to see. Yeah, for sure. Uh big thank you again, of course, goes over to Brandon and uh his team for putting on a really good production for of course a really good cause. Uh Jack, that was some of the melee of all time, if I do say so myself. Uh I'm gonna go watch that set where we uh freestyled some keyboard and ASMR personally, because that was a lot of fun. Um, but guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Hour Block. We're going to leave you uh, in just a moment and be right back for more East Coast Bracket, I believe, with Vision Hugo to close us out for In Chill and We Trust on the East Coast. So keep it locked right here. A lot of more Melee to be played. Please donate if you have the means to. Uh, we love you, Chillin', and uh, we wish you a very speedy recovery. So thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.